first dollar I earned as a bodybuilder. Hmm. Wow, it's taking me way back. Um, I guess uh, we had to be on eight by tens um, and going uh, after I won the nationals and going to my uh, first uh, pro show, my pro debut, the GNC show of strength. And uh, I got eight by tens made and some people actually bought, bought them. <laughs> Who would have figured? Uh, but it worked for me. What was my plan when I turned pro? This is probably <laughs> the worst plan ever uh, <laughs> if you ever ask anyone else this question. Because I had no idea. Um, it happened so fast. Honestly, uh, turning pro, I, I competed a couple shows and uh, then, I, like I said, I went to the Junior Nationals. It was like my uh, fourth show I ever competed in and won that one and then decided to, you know, take it further. And then my second um, pro qualifying show, I turned pro. So I, I didn't know none of the guys. I didn't know anyone. I didn't have a trainer. I, uh, matter of fact, the diet I used was the diet I got from this guy when I was still in the military and I uh, went to get a part-time job as a trainer at a powerhouse gym. And uh, he was a trainer there and we talked and uh, he was like, when was you born? I was in 1971 and he laughed and said, that's when I did my first bodybuilding contest. So that was really funny to me, of course. And uh, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna help you out. And we sat down and he wrote me out a diet and I used that diet from that day until I won the Junior Nationals. You know, um, so it, it's something to say about keeping things simple and, uh, you know, don't fix it if it's not broke, you know, and not come up with all these different things to do. Just keep it simple and head down that path. Um, so it's a big thing about keeping things simple and staying, you know, on your plan, um, you know, to, to succeed. Um, and so uh, I really didn't have a big plan afterwards. I remember coming home after winning the Nationals, sitting on my couch the next day going, okay, what do I do now? Um, how do I go on the shows? Um, who do I talk to? I had no, I honestly had no idea where to go from there. Um, eventually, within a few weeks, I got a letter in the mail and it had all the list of the shows and a little bit of other stuff kind of explaining it. And I was like, oh, okay. And I kind of <laughs> you know, started going down that path and uh, figured it out eventually. Yeah, making a living as a bodybuilder. I, I don't think anyone should go in thinking that uh, you're gonna have this huge successful career as a bodybuilder. Don't get me wrong, you can have a huge successful career as a bodybuilder, but you can't expect to make all this money. You know, there's two separate things. You can have a successful career with, you know, um, you know, gaining the respect, um, you know, going into shows, showing up at shows, placing well, and you know, in the top three, the top five at least, you know, pretty much all your shows. Uh, so you can be successful that way. Money-wise, you can't expect to, uh, it costs money. You know, you'll end up spending money, more money than you, you make um, yeah, in the long run if you're not smart. Um, but I have to say, you know, with social media, now that the social media aspect has come into it, um, there is a few other avenues that you're gonna have to take now. Cause you know, when I first turned pro, it was all about contracts, getting that big, huge supplement contract, clothing contract, equipment contract, you know, they were out there to get. These days, not so much, you know, uh, each, um, supplement company, you know, clothing company, they have ambassadors, you know, and there's a million of them seem like these days. And uh, so there's no need for, you know, so many pro athletes when you have 50 million people going, this is a great product because you hear it's something enough, you start to believe it anyway, you know? Um, but like I said, now that social media crept in, um, there's different avenues. You gotta be smart about what you do. Um, Film your workouts, uh, film your, your cooking, um, film you going shopping, film your everyday, you know, uh, what you do um, and, and put it out there. Uh, this is a world of uh, now of reality TV shows, you know? So with saying that, there is that avenue of marketing yourself, making yourself uh, famous when it comes to Instagram or the social media aspect so you can make money in that way because just straight up competing on stage, um, you're really limited to the funds that you can make and, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, the life that you can lead as a bodybuilder in that way. With all my Olympias that I accumulated over the years, which one stands out to me? Um, I would have to say uh, probably the 2006 um, Mr. Olympia, because that was the first year I won my first pro show, the Montreal Pro. So I was nailing it. I was really grooving, um, super healthy, um, you know, no body um, ailments or, you know, um, injuries, no body injuries or anything like that. Um, so everything was working just right. My body looked good um, at the right age. No. <laughs> but uh, anyway, like I said, uh, everything seemed to be grooving in 2006. Like I said, I won my first pro show and uh, I just it looked my best, I thought, you know, and brought it in and I ended up uh, ninth uh, that year as well. So that was my best placing at the Mr. Olympia as well. Um, so that's the one that stands out to me. Hmm, what stands out at the Olympia that I'm glad that I got to see? Um, well, it, it, just the years that Ronnie was Mr. Olympia alone, it, it was just, you know, just a, an honor, you know, to, you know, be in the lineup, to stand on stage, um, to know, like, that, that these days, my retirement days, I can, you know, look back and think back, like, man, I got to stand on stage with him, you know, during his prime. I mean, it was just a wonder to see this guy in shape. I mean, I don't know if we ever will see, you know, that again on stage. You know, that much conditioning, mass, and completeness, uh, if that's a word. I don't know if we'll ever see that again on stage.